Hello everyone, a short video here that is a brief follow up to two of my past videos, the Russian ship movements at one of its naval bases and the Ukrainian naval losses video. In the second video, I briefly mentioned the P-186 Kurets as being one of the ships captured. Well, I thought I'd do a short follow up on that as the Kurets is one of three confirmed Ukrainian ships transferred from Bedyansk to Novorossiysk naval base. The other two are a pair of Gyerza class gunboats. Looking at this map of the base from 3rd of May, we can see Kurets marked number one, and the two Gyerza M's marked number two. The Gyerza M's are likely being studied as they're relatively new ships to the Ukrainian Navy. So I guess Russia should want to take a look at them, see which weapon systems they have, how they operate, what their armor's like, that sort of thing. The Kretz, however, is an old seagoing tug from 1974. So the only reasons I could think to bother transferring it from Bedyansk to Novorossiysk is either as a war trophy or because Russia plans to integrate the Kretz into its own fleet. The Kretz is a Sarum class armed tugboat. Yes, unlike many other tugboats in service with navies across the world, the Kretz is armed. This allows it to operate as a makeshift patrol boat too. Indeed, the Ukrainian navy converted the Kretz to a patrol vessel in 2022. The armament on these Sarum class tugboats, including the Kretz, is a pair of 30mm AK-230M or AK-306 guns. They are quite large vessels, weighing 1,620 tonnes. Russia currently has 14 operational, 4 in the North, 6 in the Pacific, 2 in the Black Sea, 1 in the Caspian and 1 in the Baltic. Now that they have captured Ukraine's Kurets, it seems likely that they're going to press it too, into service to add another one. Incidentally, the Sorum class tug was involved in an accident in 2018, or an incident rather. The Sorum class tug was involved in an incident in 2018 where it rammed a, U where it rammed a Ukrainian tug in the Azov Sea. Overall though, even if Russia is intending to add the Kurets to its fleet, it won't make much of a difference to the war effort, other than perhaps freeing up time for other tugs in the Black Sea to perform other duties. It could just as likely have been brought there as a war trophy, or even to be cannibalised for spare parts. It's likely that the current ones operated by Russia need a bit of patching up every now and again, since, judging by the photos, they are extremely rusty. Anyway, just a short video about the Kretz. I thought it would be interesting to see that it's one of the few ships captured which has been transferred to another naval base, possibly to be integrated into the Russian fleet. Thanks for watching and take care.